Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is a pen blank cutting jig and the idea of this jig is it will cut any pen blank down to the size of your tube with a little bit extra hanging over for trimming later. And the way it works is you simply you get your pen tube, you drop it in this little cavity at the back here. And you see that there? Just about. And then you slide that over till it all closes up and you lock it down. Get your pen blank and that sits on there see how it all sits together and then this edge here runs down right down the the blade of the bandsaw and it will cut the uh, the pen blank to length you'll see that at the end um, anyway it's a dead simple project now this isn't my own design I have watched another video where I watched the guy making this now I reached out to him to see if he would there uh, if it was okay for me to make this video based on his his idea. So I'm gonna give the, the guy full accreditation anyway. Link down below in the description of where that original video is from. Thanks very much, mate, um, for, for putting your video out because it really is a great, great jig. Really pleased with it. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and I will see you guys at the end. Okay, I'm gonna start this project by ripping this piece of plywood down. It's three quarters inch thick. I'm gonna rip that down to five and a half inches. Uh, wide and that the bit that left that's left over I'll use as a fence um, Once that's been done, I'm going to cross cut that to about 10 inches and we'll make two little sleds and I'll explain that to you in a second Now that I've cut those down to length, I'm just going to chop about two inches off the end of this one piece of fence. Okay, so what I've done now is the board that's at the full length, I'm going to make just a, a quick T sled like that. And I'm going to use a mix between CA glue and wood glue there. The wood glue will give it its strength later on. And the uh, CA glue will just let me move on with the project. And this little piece that I cut earlier on, I'm going to glue to the very end. When you're making pens and you've got your um, your pen blank, you want your pen blank to be slightly longer than the actual pen tube itself, and that way you can use your, your barrel trimming tool to get everything nice and flush. So to make that little offset, I'm just going to cut this top slider piece just off a little hair width, and it's like the curve of the blade and a little bit more, and that way it'll give me a little bit of offset either end of the barrel tube then for later on. Ok, 
Okay, so I've made a mark there, and that's going to be my final width. I'm going to trim that down now on the table saw. Okay, so the next step now is I need to route a channel out of the middle of this board and I need to countersink in a T-nut into this board. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure um, the half distance. So these are about four inches, so two inches will do. Actually, if I make it closer up here, make a mark there, two inches. Get these in place and transfer that mark over. Okay, I'm over at the drill press and I've got my drill bit set and I'm going to drill two holes at either end of this board along that line that I've just made and that will give me positive stops for when I'm routing out that channel in a minute on the router. <laughs> Okay, so I've just put in a 20 mil force in a bit, and on the mark I made on the other board, I'm going to drill that just countersink enough just so that this T nut will be below that surface so this board can still slide over the top. Okay, now that I've got that board drilled with the force in a bit, um, I can use that point that it's made as the drill reference guide. Um, I've used a 7mm drill bit there, it's slightly wider than the bolt, and that should allow me to get the bolt through that hole when I'm screwing it down a little bit easier. Okay, now I'm not expecting much force to be applied on this little jig, but I am going to hold this down with a little bit of super glue on the top and I'll just pound that into place. Okay, so a new feature to the shop is uh, the way that I've laid this out a little bit. Um, this end table that I made on a previous video, there's a link to that video just appeared there for you. Um, one thing that annoyed me was that I didn't have anywhere to have a, a table, uh, a fence for my router, um, and I never built one. Um, so what I've done is I've just rotated it round 90 degrees. It still acts as a, an outfit table, but I can now use this straight edge clamp as a as a guide for when I'm routing and it's much simpler. I've lost a little bit of real estate at the end of the shop but that's no biggie. Um, I have gained space over there though so swings and roundabouts. Also a new feature to the shop is my new router lift. Um, on previous videos you would have seen that I had to get underneath and turn a cog which raised the router up and down. Um, I've built myself a new router lift. Um, this one. Um, and it works that I can change it from the top. Um, it's based on Steve Ramsey's video. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description if you want to go and build one yourself. Uh, it's not perfect, I'll admit. There is a little bit of free play still in the router, so it still needs a little bit of tweaking. See a little bit there? Um, but it's good enough for what I'm doing with it at the moment, so it's going to be alright for this project.
Okay, so now that channel is uh, is routed out and that lines up perfectly with the hole down there, it's time to glue this rear fence on now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this is flush at the back, so is that, and that's butted up tight. Again, I'm going to use CA glue and wood glue just so I can get this project finished tonight. Okay, now the last thing we need to do now is just to attach a runner on that so it'll run on the tape on the bouncer. Okay, so I've got my runner and I've got a couple of nuts down in the groove and I'm just going to lay those on top and that'll just raise the bed a little bit just while I get this set up. Now, to get the space in right, I'm going to put this right on the edge of there. I'm locking my fence and that can give me the right spacing of where I need to be. And for this I'm just going to use CA glue and I'm going to drive a couple of pins in with the pin nailer in a second. of activator push it up against the fence drop it down onto the runner okay we're just driving a couple of pins with the pin nailer just to reinforce that joint Okay, so the way this works is lose nose. Just undo that and you slide your carriage back, get your pen blank, drop it in, slide it over till it uh, closes off. Pop that down, get your wooden blank, hold it in place. And it cuts our pen blank. Now you can see there that it's cut it slightly larger than the blank and that way I can insert the pen tube and then I'll be able to use the, bar the barrel trimming tool to trim that down. So there's that piece done so we'll just do the second part of that now. Drop in the other part of the pen blank, slide over my carriage, lock it in, pen blank, Job's done. That's it for this one guys, thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, big thanks to Mike Veronesi for letting me rebuild his project. I as I said earlier on, I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can find Mike's original video. Um, the blankets, uh, the, the, the cutting jig itself has worked out an absolute treat. Um, I'm really super pleased with how it works, it's really simple. Have a go making it yourself, if you, do, if you are knocking out pens, this will make your life just a little bit easier. I find it's a doddle to use. Um, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.